and welcome to the program where we make fun of sales, training, and promotional films of the past. My name is Jason Reed here, as always, along with my co-host, Chris May. Hello, Jason. And today we've got an interesting video. It is yeah. from around 1990, and it's an old country buffet carving video that has nothing to do with carving. It, we said that we did a lot of different videos, and this one would fall under the auspice of training video. And it wasn't until the very end that, uh, Jason, you pointed out to me, they didn't actually talk about carving at any point in the video. They they kind of did, but it was always yeah. affiliated or associated with something, something else. else going on. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, so you're going to want to see this to believe it. And it's in VHS format. So there's a couple of skips, but you'll find it just adds to its charm. It really does. Your other shift duties. We'll begin with your second shift duty, greeting and serving guests. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Find enough to eat today. Boy, I'll I like how he looked at the guy's great. gut when he said, find enough to eat today. He did. All right. Making friendly did, conversations and that smirk. Like this did you is find a big enough part of today? Serving Looks like you did. At other buffet-style restaurants, you've obviously seen the dessert their, table on already, haven't you? Once they've paid for the meal, no one pays much attention to them. At Old Country oh. Buffet, we work hard to make sure our guests never Who's he feel referring that way. to? I don't he know. goes halfway at those you spend other buffets. Why don't you just say members? Ponderosa? That just means say you it. have a great chance to make them feel welcome. And I've never and seen Lauren Green there either. By greeting the guests Nor have I. and holding brief conversations as you serve them, you no, say to nobody our nobody wants the brief conversation. They want the ham here. or the beef or a little bit of both, but they don't want you yakking at us. And do you really want to have conversations when you've got a sharp knife cutting meat? Something like this. Yeah, you've got knife, meat, grease. Heat, Hi, how are you? And you want to so, oh, how are things? Guest, start a brief conversation. Try asking a question the guest can answer in a sentence or two. You might ask something like this. Is it still hot out there? It's winter, you or doofus. This. Did you catch a game last night? <laughs> or this. Which game? Have you tried the lasagna? It's my favorite. <laughs> Don't forget to hold quick We're not serving lasagna with tonight, you moron. Too. It's Mexican night. Children often play a uh, big part in deciding which. He really has the sincerity visit. down, doesn't he? We want them to yeah, feel welcome great, and special here too. They got great child actors too. too. All she does is stand there so and giggle. Like, don't put a mic with on. Children by saying something like this. What grade are you in at school? Or this. <laughs> have you decided what dessert you're going to have? <laughs> or this. Do you uh, like this training was Sundays? designed by somebody who's what never had a conversation with a child it's before. Time to move on to the <laughs> have you decided what university you're thinking of? Serving the guests. <laughs> Begin by asking, <laughs> would you care for some ham or beef? Ham, please. Once guests oh, have wow. chosen Shot what down. meat they want, you Unexpected, Mrs. Shapiro, but here you go. Exactly <laughs> what Shapiro. size of slice you will serve will be a judgment call on your part. Uh oh, judgment call. Oh no, it's getting too complicated. This is where we got to flip a coin. We don't limit the can have. We do, however, manage it to reduce waste. Here are some guidelines for knowing how much meat to serve a guest. <laughs> That's appetizing. When your plate has very little on <laughs> what it, is, what the hell shot. even is that? They have a use a food stager for that. That's terrible. Children usually I picture green beans in slop plate. along with some Got white stuff. Smaller cut. <laughs> she looks like she was Place standing up. Open she was in line at a mash unit. If your guests yeah, find an empty like spot this, on the plate, please yes. don't put greasy pork on the, the kids' the jello. Requests. Sometimes guests. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am, I yeah. can't exactly find any room on that. That mountain of food that you've amassed. Other guests will ask. I don't want to moisten your cornbread. Thicker than our usual <laughs> dime width. <laughs> but um, these guests all feel they're getting more when getting a thicker cut. They are. Well, duh, they are getting more. Cut put it on a scale. They're getting more. Which is why we carve dime thicknesses. Because if there's nothing thinner than a dime. You, that's why you're doing that. Can I have a slice that. of that roast beef, please? Say something like this. I'd be glad to carve you that. Thinner slices are more tender, though. Would that be all right? You can always come back up for more. Okay. Of course. <laughs> he just said we don't limit the customers, slice, but he just limited the customers. Request. Well, he wants her coming no back for more. No matter what the topic of your conversation oh, has been, does. or what that's size true. slice you've served, you will end each guest contact with the same phrase. Can I have your number? How's that for you? <laughs> That's fine. <thanks. laughs> what room are you staying in? <laughs> Asking how's that makes sure guests are happy with the slice they received. If they are not, or if they also want a slice of a different meat, you can correct the situation. Wow, properly. this is so complicated. I'm glad we're taking guests ten minutes to explain this. Ask you questions about the food we serve and how <laughs> Look, we Look, Jim Croce's alive and doing training films. Ready for these questions. 
Everybody make the needs most of opportunities sure. to learn about our menu I mean, items. Help. We're doing a podcast. If you are asked a question, you can't. <laughs> We're not ones to talk. <laughs> Find someone who can answer it. The difficulty of learning about Your your menu, menu items, is ham or beef. A good place to start. <laughs> oh, you got two <laughs> items. Beauty is ham is pig, beef station. is cow. As you carve and serve meat, we have both. your station quickly Slice, loses thin, the cleanliness and appeal it, it had when the restaurant opens. Why is this video this long? Throughout your shift, you will complete routine cleaning and maintenance tasks to return your station to its original appearance. Here are some of the tasks you will complete. Wipe grease from the carving board with a paper towel. Not your face. Grease and meat scraps yeah, spoil exactly, the appearance Jason. of your station. Please don't lick Wipe them away the boards. Frequently. It doesn't... Discard the used paper towels in the wastebasket immediately. Doesn't look good. Keep the wastebasket in a spot that is. Then, wipe the carving board. I'm still wondering where that wastebasket is. Oh, please don't, don't put the wastebasket where on your head. Towel. <laughs> look at me, I'm <laughs> crazy. I have a book it on my Wipe your carving knives and chef's forks with your clean, sanitized towel. They're really, really big Keep on the clean, on the walls, sanitized mirrors, towel. They make sure that clean and, and sanitized are... To make sure they don't they say and. Clean, clean sanitized. Use the time between guests to clean them. Clean all the blood Horse stains off the walls. Immediately by yeah, le guarding use the your area bare hand or putting up a in the sanitizer to wipe a dirty wall and up. then grip a knife over top of somebody's meat and water. serve it to them. None of and this sounds right. And leaving the wet floor in place until the area is completely dry. Be sure to wash your hands after performing oh, every yeah, there we go. Good. They, they got it. Wash your hands. Good. Rinse good. out your towels frequently in sanitizing solution. Towels that aren't sanitized frequently not only are unappetizing to look at, but they also leave streaks. Why would you be reusing the field? same towel? Yeah, and wouldn't it be a health hazard? Maintaining they seem the more concerned about how it looks as opposed to knives. what would happen if to keep your knives you're using and ready old to carve, towels. You use a grooved steel rod called, appropriately, a grooved steel rod. Steel oh, it is. The knife. A grooved steel it rod. You're right. By Jason Reed for the win, everybody. Jason Reed for the win. The blade. After cutting about 10 to 15 slices of meat, you will notice your that your knife isn't cutting as easily as it was when it was first It's going to be tough in that chainmail glove. It's wearing. then that you use the steel to restore the knife's edge. Here's how to use the steel. Make a drinking Note game out of this. Note that the process is described for right-handed carvers. That and if sanitized. You are Reverse the process. Before you start... Well, this is good in case you're, you know, jousting with the hand. Black Knight during, you know, the medieval Hold fair. Hold the steel in your left hand. <laughs> the steel so the point is up. Hey, I'm off you to a Renaissance festival. I better get ready. Throughout this process. He thinks Hold he's King Arthur. Look at this. Right he does look at him. I Place the blade of the knife at the I base of the joust steel you. on and the look, side furthest from He's giving from praise you. to the Holy Cross. The cutting edge should be facing up. Blade up the steel, working left to right. Make sure the entire blade is drawn uh, across the steel. It's getting too complicated. Again, Next, he's, blade of the he, knife he at the tip of the steel on the side for a summer job to, to cut beef Again, or pork. The cutting edge should face up. This is way too long and Draw way too the complicated. Blade down left to They're right. wildly overthinking this. this. Hones the other side we also of the had to tell him edge. to say hi or good evening. Repeat this True. process Maybe there is a reason why this is as long as it is. The They're obviously not dealing with calculus students. <laughs> Draw the blade over the clean, sanitized towel lying on the carving counter. Take another drink. Do not hold there the towel in your left hand. Your carving knives are sharp enough to slice not only through the towel, but all fingers. Yes, Remember, giving new uh, meaning to the term finger food. To the dish room for da, hey, Once you have wiped the seal with your clean, sanitized towel, <laughs> return it to its appropriate oh, place. I'm going to be hammered. Your holster. Your fourth shift duty is assisting when the guest flow is light. When there are no guests at your station and you're caught up on your I don't your know about tasks, anybody else, you'll but ever, any attendance. buffet I've ever been to, the hot food carving your final station shift duty is always is doing busy. Always whatever busy. it takes yep. to take care of the guests. At Old Country Bay, Wax their car, loan them money, whatever it is needs to, whatever priority. you need to do. <laughs> you have many <laughs> opportunities throughout your shift to lend a helping hand to our guests. Uh, I'll buy Every your dinner. Every time you offer that helping hand, Chances are you increase guest satisfaction with his or her visit. Before we leave, you know they really duties, used actors that were far too good two looking two for this look video. Look closely at something they you need to be aware of budget. every minute you're on the job. Safety. Would you like a side of beef with As that? Maybe carver, some I don't know hair you conditioner. You work in an area with a high potential for accidents. Offering sharp knives, grease from the hand. 
Yes, and grease the from the ham is always the biggest sometimes health very, hazard. Create a disaster. Very dangerous. Very That's dangerous. That's why you need to always work safely. This poor putz is standing at the end of a tiny little table. Treat this your video with respect. for this poor putz they should not be this sharp, long. Honed to an edge that cuts through meat with only a little pressure. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter to the knife if it's cutting through a ham or your finger. It loves you just the same. Don't say grab it. for a falling knife. It does. Let it hit the floor. Let it stab you in, in the foot. In your haste to prevent it from falling, you stand a 50-50 chance of grabbing the blade, not the handle. Based on what market research? Take extra time and care when it's, you're science, washing Chris. knives. Ah, when science. both your hands science. and the knives are wet, it's easy to slip if you're hurrying. So Slow they just told you not to complete the wash the knife, safely. to wipe it in a sanitized towel, and now they're showing you washing the knife. Hey, this guy's also away from his workstation. Water. There's going to be people up there pawing <laughs> over the beef, stealing it. There are all sorts Believe of guys going to be wanting to talk about the game. Are more dangerous oh yeah, than the game. Knives. There's 800 because different ESPN channels, to get a dull knife but to this cut, guy asks, did you see the game? or a guest are much greater. Finally... Be aware at all times of where the guest's hands are. Without they take liberties with their hands, may move their especially hands when you're a handsome carver. Of your knife. You gotta be careful of Keep a handsy customers. Keep an eye out for this. In this video, we've examined your shift duties other than carving meat. <laughs> Your shift duties are the things you'll When do you we get the carving the meat video? Jason, I thought this was supposed to be the carving meat video. What the hell are we doing here? Yeah, the other thing was we actually spent 90% of this video that didn't talk about carving meat watching him cut meat. Talking about not, but not talking about no. carving meat. This was, this was an inside out video. It was totally inside out. And remember to greet somebody, say hello or hi. <laughs> you know... The thing that I love about this video is the carver himself. Um, he, one doesn't get the sense that he's a, a very proficient actor, but there's just something in his, since, well, his sincerity in delivering insincere lines that was actually really authentic and kind of charming. I'm hoping to God that he was acting oblivious and because there's it, i cannot believe that anybody would be that oblivious but i'm sure that it's a training and they said yeah. all right here are your lines and he looked at them and went i have to teach people how to say hello <laughs> are you kidding me <laughs> yeah you probably didn't think you'd have to get that basic and speaking no. of hello i've designed something special for you chris people who okay. watch this program know that i love making you laugh and <laughs> this is something that you have not seen that i put together and I was inspired by that whole idea of how to have a conversation with people, and particularly the, the bit where they talk about having a conversation with children, because it reminded me of something oh, that, that was one. very, um, there was a real touchstone of a cultural artifact of the era that we grew up in. So why don't I just play the oh, tape no. and you guys can you watch doing? our reaction. Okay. Don't forget to hold quick conversations with our younger guests, too. We'll start conversations with children by saying something like this. What grade are you in at school? Have you ever seen a grown man naked? <laughs> have you decided what dessert you're going to have? Have you ever hang around the gymnasium? <laughs> Do you like hot fudge sundaes? Do you like <laughs> movies about gladiators? <laughs> you freaking guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god he went all airplane that was awesome nice cut oh Brilliant. man <laughs> you ever seen a grown man naked <laughs> okay let's watch that one more time because that, uh, that that did go by quick so here we, here we are again don't forget to hold quick conversations with our younger guests too we'll start conversations with children by saying something like this what grade are you in at school have you ever seen a grown man naked <laughs> have you decided what dessert you're gonna have do you ever hang around the gymnasium? Do you like hot fudge sundaes? Do you like movies about gladiators? <laughs> uh, I'm glad uh, that I laughed as hard as I did. We had to do a rinse and replay because I yeah. lost it. That is, those uh, are classics. Classics. <laughs> about how to interact <laughs> with kids without having any clue how to interact with kids. <laughs> exactly. So I might even I, may, I might even post that as a separate video on our YouTube channel. Okay. Yeah, we should. We should. That was hilarious. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys got as much enjoyment uh, out of this episode as we did. And Chris, any passing thoughts on carving before we check out for these this episode? <laughs> well, 
if you're if you're gonna if you're gonna audition uh, for uh, or or apply for a job, try to be the sharpest knife in the drawer and not the dullest knife in the drawer. Absolutely. So, from Chris May, I'm Jason Reed. Keep yourself sharp. <laughs>